we have all these uh, voxel representations, like these are the opacity voxels with uh, several levels of detail. And these are the emittance voxels, also with several levels of detail. And uh, all these representations are fully dynamic, so I can throw these objects around and everything is updated in real time. So for example, I can put this table here and you will notice that it places some indirect illumination onto the column to the left of it. Uh, I can also change the light parameters, like I can move the light to, to a place like this, for example, which will completely change how the scene looks. And it's still all dynamic. I can turn the light completely off and the scene will be lit only by these uh, small emissive objects. So this is UE4 running with VXGI and the scene is uh, sci-fi hallway originally made by Quixel. So to demonstrate that uh, it's all running with VXGI, let me just hit play and it will become interactive. So I can do a lot of things here. For example, I can uh, toggle the rendering mode. So this is just the indirect illumination channel from the XGI. And this is a direct lighting only mode. Okay, so I can toggle the XGI on or off, diffuse and specular separately. Also, I can show you the voxel, uh, voxel visualizations. So you can also see that when I uh, move closer to the objects, they become represented at a finer resolution than uh, they were where I, when I was far away. And this is the emittance map with the same property of different resolutions at different distances. And one more important point about, uh, about UE4 is that uh, VXGI currently replaces Unreal Engine 4 screen space reflections with its own uh, reflections, and these have very different properties. Yeah, so this is the same San Miguel scene, but instead of uh, full GI calculation, uh, VXGI only produces uh, AO. You can see that the result of ambient occlusion calculation is completely stable. It doesn't change as I move the camera. So uh, this is the raw uh, AO channel computed by the XGI. And to compare, this is the same scene rendered without any lighting or occlusion and I can enable SSAO on it. It's deliberately not uh, tuned uh, to fine to show that uh, SSAO is sometimes unstable. Like, for example, if you look on the right edge of the screen, when I uh, move away from the corner, uh, the occlusion from the corner disappears completely. Now, let me turn the XGIAO back on and move. And there is no such effect at all. Also, the effect of uh, voxel-based EO is more global, meaning that it doesn't uh, consider objects only near in screen space, but all the, all the objects in the wall space near the given 